Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner, prospector, and geologist, Jeff Williams. And today, I'm gonna be shoveling up a whole bunch of dirt to get some gold. But instead of using this guy, I'm gonna use this guy. Go big or go home, son of a boy. Yeah. Look at the fan system. Now that's the way you do it. You don't mess around with a shovel. You get the big toys in here. I've got a very special guest. So tell him your name and what this is all about. Uh, I'm Boulder Dash and uh, this is what I do for work. He digs yeah. up shiny 24 hours a day. This is how yeah. he feeds his belly. That's, That's, That's how he gets flat on the couch. I know. So you probably recognize him on oh, a channel no. called, what was it called? I Break for Bedrock. You better know that channel. If you don't, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below. Um, Adam, where are you? We're out here finding gold. You're back home eating chips, getting fat on the couch. So I what he's doing. I invited him, where chicka, is he? Chicka, chicka, wero, wero. <laughs> no, I don't know who he's doing that. Yeah. So, lady. We're out here digging up gold in one of our favorite spots and he found a target. Obviously with this big old thing, you can't miss. So I want you to take a look at this. For you guys that know the area that we're in, I'm not gonna say it. Alan, you know exactly where I'm at. Look oh, at I this. know Alan. Hey Alan. Alan from Alan's Gold Mining. Does that look familiar, Alan? That, ooh, that beautiful muddy creek formation. Except look, they don't need one of these. They got one of those. Anyway, he found a beautiful target right here. He's gonna dig it up for you guys. No, you're digging it for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you're good. But if only if I get to use that thing. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> There's a pick. That. What, what is that? <laughs> that's for kids. That's, a, that's just my size pick. Look at that. For Ooh, elves. Google I mean, Gaga. Christmas. That's so cute. All right. It's All right. right there. All right. So you folks at home, you're going to help me find out where this is. Hey, where's the riffles at? Uh, I don't use riffles. Uh, I'm too lazy. Come on. <laughs> you got to use riffles. They don't lose it, man. Is this your first time? <laughs> All right, let's get serious. Yeah. Okay. Get it out of the ground there. That's hard stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's tough. I wouldn't mind getting some. Oh, why'd you use some gloves if you have any blisters? Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some powder on that. Oh, wait a minute. Holy cow. It. Yeah, it was That's shallow. That's pretty shallow. I was expecting well, I it to, to be sure. deeper. I was hoping it'd be deeper. Shoot, you got it. I gotta. Just I gotta watch that ring. There we go. Dude, I heard a hit. Did yeah. you hear that? It goes glonk. Is that it? Right on top. Right there on top. Yeah. Or is that a white rock? Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, there it is. Oh, good. Right there. Excellent. Yeah, spin on or whatever you do. Yeah, spit bath. Mm. Nice. Oh, a little chunk. She's a nice bit. little chunker. Look at that. Dang. It's all muddy and nice. Here's the other ones I got right next to it. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what you're talking about. Right? That one still has, oh, it looks, yeah. It's oh, awesome. I didn't wash it. I don't do that. Oh, no. I got a guy for that. They hired me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, apparently. Jeez. Oh, that's a big old honker. Holy cow. Jeez, that was a Man, go back to where you're getting these. <laughs> I found that on a hillside. Nice. So for all you naysayers out there that say there's no more gold to be had, feast your eyes on that, okay? Get off that couch and get out there and get some shiny. There, I'll wash them all for you. Yeah, good idea. There, you got my DNA on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to track it. Uh, yeah, that's some nice gold. It has some chunks in there. Jeez, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you got some chunky monkeys in there. Holy yeah, nice, yeah. nice pickers. 
Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at those nice chunkers. Shoot, all up in there. there. Not bad. That's a lot in there. Look how thick it is. Yeah, all the way down. It's Look hiding that. under that black set. Oh, there's a nice one right there. Look at that one. You can tell that one made a trip. Yeah, he's yeah. been he's been running around the hills. It's mostly the fines. Yeah, the is... dry washer catches it so well. Look how small it catches. Yeah, powder. I was looking at that. These guys make these units, and they're using technology inside of them that I can't talk about because patent pending. But what we're gonna do is he's gonna tell you how you can get a hold of one of these units. They'll special fabricate one for you, and this thing's got excellent gold recovery. I mean, you've seen the gold. Come on. It's so how can they get it? Well, just simple email. Just Boulder Five Dash Boulder. Spell it right. A number five. Spell the word dash uh -huh. at gmail.com. At gmail.com. I might give him a link and he might be all fancy. And yeah, put it in we'll go ahead and put that down below. Or something. Yeah, so make it simple. go ahead and email him and they've got their own fabrication shop. They'll go ahead and build you one on demand. These things are fantastic. Yep. So I've seen the recovery and they're just super quiet. That's why we're getting 90%. Yeah. We don't want to talk about it. The excavator is not included. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish it was. Street. I got to get one. You guys see that quartz vein up on the ridge? What is Isn't that? that beautiful? Look at these buildings. Wow, and it's still standing. And it's got a fireplace. Now these buildings here are what the old timers lived in who were working at mine up on the hill. And in fact, there's mines all around here because there's quartz veins everywhere, like you can see up on that ridge. And yeah, they were rich. They had specimen gold coming out of those mines. But there's like three or four of these little cabins everywhere. But I wanted you to look at the construction. I mean, even the walls, look at this, they're tapered. See that? It's got an angled taper to it, wide at the bottom, narrow on the top. I mean, these things were built to last. And this one even has a fireplace in it. You see that? Of course, the top stone has fallen out. It's supposed to be a bar going across there. So you're thinking, Jeff, how did they live in here if the walls are, are shorter than you? Because half the building was, was stone and then they had a small wooden roof on the top. Sometimes they only had canvas on the top. So it was just enough to keep them warm because it gets really cold out here and enough protection from the elements and of course wild animals. This thing is in great shape. I mean, look at the craftsmanship on this thing. I mean, come on. This thing is over a hundred years old and look at this, this looks fantastic. Just look at the corners and how everything is flush. And look, there's a can that says gold nuggets. Nah, just kidding. All right, we're gonna look around and I'll take you up to the mine. Oh man. Now somewhere up there is a mine. You can see all the beautiful quartz. I can see a little bit of a mine dump right there. I don't know how these old timers did it. They were out here, winter, spring, summer, or fall, looking for these deposits. Didn't matter what time of year. And it can get horribly hot out here. Luckily, it's cool enough for me. But could you imagine running up and down these washes, looking for float, trying to find a new deposit? Oh my gosh, these guys were tough as nails. And even when they did find a deposit, they had to put a road in. There used to be a road right here. Yeah, we got to go all the way up around that corner. See all the float in the wash? This is good looking stuff too. Look at the mineralization in it. It's all over the place. Holy cow. It's good looking stuff. Oh man. Climbing up these old washes. Test your metal. Ain't nothing driving up this. Whew. All right, it's enough jaw I know, no, enough jaw -ja. I can get up there, I wanna see that mine. I wanna see it too, but I'm not gonna go up there unless you smash that like button, you better smash it hard. Oh, look at that. See all the iron staining? See all that limonite? And look at the copper staining. And look, see the halo right here where the fluids were introduced? Right there's your outer margin. Nice. Remember what I told you about parallel veins? You find one, look in the area, you'll find another one. And you can see the, the retaining wall right there, see it? The road is right there. I'll tell you what, these guys were tough as nails. No two ways about it. I mean, I'm standing on the road they built. And I don't know how they got a wagon up here. It's just extremely steep. And I keep thinking, in the late 1800s, some guy was wandering around up here, chasing these quartz veins. Whoo, tough as nails. 
Tough as nails. Road's gone. There's the mine. Oh man. I see a lot of copper, which doesn't surprise me. This area is known for copper and gold to be in the mix. You're gonna need your Wheaties on this one. <laughs> see the quartz veins? Little tiny stringers, all in the fracture of this country rock. So now does it make sense why there's parallel veins? Because when this country rock fractured, it didn't fracture in one spot. It cracked all the way across, leaving these nice voids for the hydrothermal fluids to rush up into, generation over generation. And that is why you have parallel veins. That's a good sized waste rock pile too. And you see where they went all, all the way up the mountain. And big old gobs of quartz everywhere. Nice mineralization all the way up. You imagine trying to do this in summertime? I've been out here in summertime. There ain't no way this would kill you. No doubt about it. Now we got to climb that mine dump. Good looking material, jeez. Look at that. Gorgeous looking material. Looks like they had a tram set up. You see that? That doesn't surprise me. It's the only way you're gonna get stuff off the hill. Yeah, this was a tram set up. Oh great, here I thought the portal was here. Whew. Nice. Look at this pile. Oh my goodness. Just waiting for someone like me. That's a good looking pile. Of course you'll have to cherry pick out the good pieces, but that's a good looking pile. All right, we'll take a look around. Yeah, there's your quartz vein running all the way up the side of the ridge. A lot of your basement rock out here is nice. And you got a lot of schist, a lot of biotite schist. All right, I don't see a portal. I just see a big hole in the ground. Did I miss the portal? We're gonna find out. Look at this pile. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, here's a nice cut. Here's a nice cut. Yeah, they had a good shaft going down. You see how they have this, it's like a flume box. And ran all the way to the top. They could drop their ore in it, it runs down this box but it looks like it heads into this shaft. Look at the size of that monker. Holy cow. All right, we'll see if we can find a portal. Cause I don't think they hoisted it up from there and then dropped it. I personally think it came out from down there somewhere. So we'll go down there and take a peek. Maybe I walked right past it. Oh yeah, that's gotta be it right there. You see it? That's gotta be the portal. Cause it's in line with the quartz vein. Right all the way up there. Don't you just love it when you overshoot the portal? <laughs> PG, PG. Oh, I never get tired of looking at piles of quartz with iron in it. Look at that. This has all been washed away too. That means the portal's right around the corner. Looks like this was all eroded away. See that? Yeah, this is the portal. Look at this stuff. Oh, yeah, there's the portal. There is the portal, Bubba. Yep. And that is how they were getting it out of here. And they probably loaded the ore up, wheel it out on a mine car out on track, round the corner over to that aerial tram, sent it down all the way to the bottom. Oh yeah, that's a good looking one too. But wouldn't you know it, I didn't bring my flashlight. Of course I got my cell phone, but I'm not going in there with just my cell phone. And you know what happened last time. Now, if you think you know where I'm at, you go ahead and leave me a comment down below. But I don't think anybody knows where this one's at because this one is hard to get to and I couldn't find it on any map. But it's got some good ore coming out of it. I always love seeing those cactuses grow in the most remote places. You see that way up there? This is referred to as quartz monzonite. It's in the granite family and you're gonna see tons of it out here. A lot of nice, a lot of chlorite schist, a lot of biotite schist, all kinds of schist. I said schist, 
<laughs> PG, PG. Ooh, I got a surprise for you. Look at this. Oh, what's that? How am I supposed to get in there? Now this particular mine is very, very rich with specimen gold. You're gonna see why here in a second. And in the lower sections, you could actually see the gold in the quartz. Look at this. See this vein? It's got a nice, easy dip of about 70 degrees, 75 degrees. Looks like multiple episodes and generations of deposition. I got some country rock inside the mix. You see that where it broke off? These are all hydrothermal in nature, which that doesn't surprise me. You can see advanced argillic alteration on the outer edges. There's not enough mineralization in this. They were driving this forward to get into it. But obviously it wasn't rich enough here. But they did drive a haulage drift down below and got up underneath this. Take a look. Isn't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? Big, fat, juicy vein running up the side of the mountain. And it's got specimen gold in it too. Just look at the size of this quartz vein. Beautiful. And you know it doesn't just stop here. This whole thing probably drops down two, three, maybe 400 feet. And it goes all the way up the ridge. Can you imagine the first prospectors that come wandering around out in these hills and they wander up onto this? Oh man, they must have lost their minds. Now, granted the outside doesn't look that good. It's too milky, but I do see signs of mineralization here and there. And I'm sure underneath you get a lot more mineralization because a lot of this stuff on top's leached out. And I also got copper staining. That is always good in the mix, which is a no-brainer out here in Arizona. That is beautiful. Look at that. See that? That is a nice quartz vein. That's a beautiful outcropping. And you can see they dug it all the way up to the top of the mountain. See the copper staining in the quartz? See the silicates in there? Beautiful. It's always good to have copper in the mix. And it's really common in Arizona. Now me, I'm more interested in the mine dumps. Why? Because the mine dumps are telling me a story of what they found. It also tells me if I look at the bottom to the top, what they were recovering in there. Was it just quartz? Was it brecciated? Did it have mineralization in it? Did it have copper in it? All the different things that I need to find out before I actually even stick my head in the portal. And chances are it's probably got a gate on it anyway. So I'm gonna be looking at the, uh, the mine dumps and some of the sections of these veins, because look at this. I've got good mineralization there. <clears throat> nice copper staining. I got some stringers right here see that that looks pretty good i would like to take a look at that i got some brecciation which is right here this looks like fault brecciation right there i'll take a look at that so yeah it looks promising so we'll go up and have a look take a poke at the vein and oh and look there's a parallel vein remember i told you if you have a quartz vein look in the vicinity for another one. Chances are you'll find a parallel vein. Now, sometimes they'll be hidden right under the surface. So look for traces of float on the side of the hill. I got chrysocol in there and some of them has malachite. So I've got silicates and I got carbonates in there. Beautiful, a little iron oxide. I got some druzy quartz and I can tell that this quartz has been put in hydrothermally because if you look, you can see the bandings of silicates and carbonates in there. Of course, I've got traces of limonite in here. See that? This is a good, good sign. I'm not sure, but I think BLM got here before me. Take a look. Oh, what is that? How am I supposed to get in there? Look at this brecciated quartz. This would be worth grinding up. And you see a lot of coliform and crustiform on these rocks which indicate hydrothermal emplacement. I've also got a lot of breccias here. I got some fault breccia, and then I've got hydrothermal breccias. The one I'm looking at is the hydrothermal breccias because those can have a lot of tasty minerals in it. You see that little circle right there? I don't know if you can see it on film. I know this doesn't look like much, this little patch that I'm sitting on, but this, this is their high grade pile. It's a no brainer. It stands out. It doesn't look like any of the waste rock. It's a darker material. I got some nice bugs in here. You can see where the pseudomorphs are in there. I mean, this is beautiful looking material. Look at the oxides on that. This is what you're looking for. This is why it's so important to bring a hand lens with you out in the field. I can actually see native copper and I can see a little bit of native gold in this particular sample. It's brecciated 
with a fine grain matrix and you can see the gold right there. That is beautiful looking gold. So that's why it's important, like I said, to bring one of these, these hand lenses out here 10 times. I, you've heard me call them jewelers loops, hand lens, same thing. Look at the rocks. Remember, ugly ore produces gold, not that pretty white stuff. When you get out in the field, take your time, make your observations, and look for anything that has a potential for native gold. Now you can see where BLM put a gate on this one too. Drops down maybe 40 feet, and it probably connects to that haulage at it down below. There's some more brecciation, do you see it? Right there. See how the quartz is broken up and then re-cemented with this fine grain matrix. The gold is gonna be in that red material right there. And if you like that video, go ahead and watch this video on gold prospecting and we'll see you, we'll see you guys on the next video.